Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out a 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Giant Watt. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. When you first open this up, what you can expect is your product manual, a registration card uh, with a QR code right here, and then a little baggie with your post bolts in it. All right, and then the battery. All right, and with every lithium iron phosphate battery that you get, the first thing you wanna do is check the voltage to make sure that it is operational right out of the box. All right, and our voltage is 13.16, right in the perfect range. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and charge this battery all the way up to full with a 20 amp lithium iron phosphate charger. And then I'm gonna perform a capacity test to make sure that we're getting at least 100 amp hours out of it. After that, I'm gonna do some high amperage testing to make sure that it can handle 100 amps for at least five minutes. And then I'm gonna push it up to see when it shuts down. And then after all that, I'll go ahead and put it into a 12 volt cooler and I'll set that for like 30 degrees Fahrenheit or like negative one or negative two degrees Celsius just to see if the low temperature charging protection triggers at that temperature. So now on to the capacity test. All right, well, the capacity test is done for this giant watt 12.8 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. So let's go ahead and look at the graph. You can see that this voltage curve, which is the blue line at the top, it looks really good. You know, in the first 5% of the test, uh, it's at 13.026 volts. And if you go all the way to the 35th percent of this test, you're still at almost 13 volts. You're at 12.968 volts. So a very flat discharge curve. And if we look at the 90th percentile of this test, which is way over here, we're still at 12.452 volts for this battery. Uh, and that, that is what you want from your lithium iron phosphate batteries. That is pretty impressive. But what's really impressive is the capacity. If you look down here, our capacity is 106.36 amp hours. So over 6% of the rated capacity of the battery. That's really good. So, so far this battery is doing great, but let's look at the high amperage testing now. We're gonna go ahead and push 100 amps through it for like five minutes to make sure it can handle it. And then we're gonna start stepping up the amperage to see when it shuts off. Okay, so I'm all ready for the high amperage test. What I have is my uh, giant watt 12.8 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery right over here. And it is connected to a 3000 watt inverter from MWXNE. Now what that's gonna be powering is a uh, 1200 watt heat gun back there. And I'm gonna be doing that for five minutes. That should give us roughly our 100 amps that I wanna pull from this battery. After about five minutes, I have a uh, floor heater down here. Ding. And that uh, has three settings. Uh, it's gonna first pull 750 watts. And this battery should shut off after that first setting. Uh, but then it will go up to 1200 watts and then 1500 watts. If this heater is able to power 1500 watts while that gun is running 1200 watts, then this battery completely fails. It's, uh, it's high amperage testing. Um, I also have an amp clamp right there and a voltmeter to see the voltage of the battery while we're doing the test. So let's go ahead and start it up. All right, let's go ahead and put this on high. And you can see that the voltage of the battery has dropped down to 13 point, uh, 13.1. It's going down and down and down. Our amperage is 103 amps. So let's go ahead and start our test. Timer is set. Amperage is now 105 amps. And our voltage is 12.86. So right at the nominal voltage of a lithium iron phosphate 100 amp hour battery. So I will come back after five minutes unless something else changes. All right, well, it's been five minutes and this has performed this test just fine. Our uh, voltage is at 12.65 and our amperage is at 106.9. So now let's go ahead and introduce this floor heater. We're gonna put it on setting one. 
and that should give us 750 watts that will probably bring the amperage up to about 170 to 180 i'm guessing so let's do it all right the fan on the inverter just kicked on our amperage is 168 amps our voltage is down to 12.36 169 amps time is 550 <clears throat> I'll let this run until seven minutes. All right, well, it's been seven minutes now. We ran it for at 169.8 amps for about a minute and 20 seconds. Uh, our voltage is 12.28, and this battery has not shut down. That's kind of unfortunate, but we're going to keep on going. We're going to go ahead and bump this up to the next level. Level two, that will probably shoot it up over 200 amps. So let's do it. All right, we are now have 202 amps. Our voltage is down to 12.13. Our time is 7.35, so let this run for another minute. All right, well, it's now 8.50. I let it run a little bit longer than a minute. Um, we're still at 200 amps. Our voltage is at 12.07. Uh, unfortunately, this battery does not have any sort of high amperage protection. We're gonna go ahead and just crank this all the way up to 1500 watts. Now we're reaching the, the maximum of our inverter, which is a 3000 watt inverter. We're probably running about 2700 to 2800 watts right now. Our amperage is 256. Our voltage is 11.77. It's 930, I'll let it run until 10 minutes. All right, that's 10 minutes. We have, we have a, a 255 amps running through those cables. Uh, voltage is 11.71. Uh, that is a definite fact that this battery... Oh, look at that. It just turned off. Look at the voltage. It is 3.3 volts. So the battery has shut off. And the, ba and the top of the case, the battery is pretty warm. So. Uh, it doesn't have high amperage protection. Uh, I'm guessing this battery has high temperature protection. So it's been over two minutes now since this battery uh, shut itself off. And that further uh, suggests that this battery does not have any kind of setting for high amperage protection. Usually when you have high amperage protection, the battery will click back on, you know, within 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, but when it's overheated, when it has over temperature protection triggered, it needs to cool down. So if you were to get this battery, I would highly suggest uh, that you uh, use two gauge wire minimum and, um, and have a 150 amp fuse connected to the positive. That way uh, you have some of those safety features that you need. So now I'm gonna go ahead and test the uh, cold charging protection. I'm gonna let this battery cool off probably for the rest of the night. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and throw it in a 12 volt cooler freezer. And I'm going to go ahead and set that to like 28 degrees Fahrenheit. That way I can make sure that the internals of the battery are below 32 degrees, but they're not super cold like zero. And then we'll go ahead and try to charge it. All right, so this giant watt 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery has been chilling in my cooler for the past 24 hours at 28 degrees Fahrenheit. The reason I put 28 and not like exactly 32 is just because I'm not sure if that is exactly right. And also on their Amazon page, it does say that it has a low temperature charging protection, but it says uh, that it goes down to 23 degrees Fahrenheit before it shuts off. And that's not correct. It should be 32 degrees. I'm hoping that's a typo, but we're going to find out right now. What I have here is a, a Litime uh, 20 amp 12 volt charger. You can see that the light is flashing green right now. That means it's on standby. Uh, when I hook up this charger to this battery, it will go from flashing green to a solid red, but it should only do that for a few seconds before the battery detects that it should not be charging and it switches from a solid red to a solid green. Basically, the battery is telling the charger to stop charging. So let's go ahead and try it. 
Here we go. Solid red. And it's not stopping. So it looks like their Amazon page is correct and they actually have their batteries. So they will uh, start charging all the way down to 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, because this battery was sitting at 28 and it, uh, it charged up with no problem. So if you're looking to get uh, just capacity at a pretty inexpensive price, you know, you might want to look into the giant watt. When it came to the capacity test, it did prove that it could do up to 106 amp hours. So that's really good. And the, uh, the discharge curve was very flat, uh, very nice voltage. Uh, the downsides of this are, uh, well, the low temperature charge and protection is not programmed correctly. Uh, it should be 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius to protect the cells inside. And also, uh, there is no high amperage protection on here. So you could push this battery pretty much as far as you want. Uh, it does have over temperature protection and that is what they're using for their high amperage uh, protection as well. So if you have any questions about this 12.8 uh, volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Giant Watt, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to this item in my description just in case you want to look further into it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.